Hi everyone, my name is Morgan and today I'm gonna to be showing you all how to use the no outline taking tool using the Snap and Read extension in Google Chrome. So as you can see, I'm just on a New York Times page about the Northern Light that scientists have named Steve. So we are gonna go up to our Snap and Read extension and turn that on right away. And I'm going to have my nice sleek and discreet toolbar off to the side. And now I'm going to go to my very last option, which is our note outline taking tool. We're gonna to pop open our garage and we're gonna create a new outline and we are going to name it the Northern Lights. So now I could begin my free form writing. So I could say the Northern Lights are illuminate, or they illuminate the night sky at high altitudes. Awesome. And I just press enter to get an additional bullet point. However, if I want to start kind of capturing some text from this direct article, I do have that ability. So what I'm gonna do is simply just choose my capture text button and I'm just going to highlight the text that I would like. And it's just going to shift over into our outline in quotation marks to eliminate that plagiarism risk as well as a, um, a hyperlink for your students to reference back to um, at any given time. Notice how we also have a sources tab. So as I am pulling information from different websites, it is gonna build me a beautiful bibliography. So it's going to cite that for me in MLA, APA in Chicago, which is awesome. Now, if I want to capture an image for my writing prompt, I know that um, capturing images is so important to really serve that visual. So what we're gonna do is again, choose our capture text. And I love this picture. I'm going to incorporate it into my assignment. So I'm just gonna click once and it moves that picture over. How amazing. Now let's say I'm ready to pull in, in a template to help me better organize my thoughts on this outline. So what I can do is go up to my three dots. I'm gonna choose add outline template. There are over 60 different evidence-based templates in here for me to choose from. So since we're writing on the Northern Lights, I know that that is a real thing that happens. So let's choose nonfiction and let's do main ideas and support details. Once I choose that, I can come in here and I can put in something for my supporting detail. And like I could do, again, I'm just gonna highlight this important paragraph, choose my capture text, and it's just going to pop over there. How awesome. So now I'm ready to take all of this information and bring it to my assignment. So what we're gonna do is I have opened a blank Google Doc and, and now what I'm gonna do is just click on the um, text here and I'm gonna start with the picture first since I am kind of writing a writing prompt. I'm just gonna click and drag on that picture and it's just going to pop in there. Awesome. So now I could give it a title. So we'll throw in a rural Northern Lights. Of course, we have to center that. And then I could continue on with my essay. So let's say we want to take this information. So I'm just clicking and dragging again. It's going to pop over there. And of course, we have to cite that. So let's throw in our reference. Let's go to our sources tab. My teacher wants MLA. And I'm just going to move it over. So that is how you use the no outline taking tool. If you need any more support, please feel free to rewatch this video or check out our website at learningtools.johnjohnson.com support. Thanks for watching.